Okay, this video is about angles and then angles in a transversal. So first of all, we want to go over the types of angles and what they look like. So we have right triangles, which if we remember from our um, degrees in a circle, is one-fourth of a circle. And they are two lines that are perpendicular to each other. And usually they will have a little square in the corner of the angle to indicate that it is a perfect 90 degree angle. So anytime you see that, no matter what direction it's facing, if you see that little square, you will know that it's 90 degrees. Okay, so we can put a little note, 90 degrees. Okay, obtuse angles are angles that are more than 90 degrees and less than 180. So if we know that a straight angle is 180 degrees, so a straight line, it has to be more than halfway So it might look something like that, or like that, and the angle that we're looking at is that. Okay, so those are a couple examples of obtuse angles. Acute angles are less than 90 degrees. So any of those would count. So there are three different types of angles. So again, 180 degrees. Acute was um, less than 90 degrees. And obtuse is more than 90 degrees. And less than 180. All good things to remember. Okay, then we have the angles in a transversal and the question is find the measurement of each of the missing angles. So A, B, C, D, E, and F. Angie. So we know that this angle right here is 85 degrees and if you remember back to the transversals, um, basically any and I'll sh do a highlighter here. One second. Okay, here we go. So um, with this 85 degrees, right across from it is going to be that same measure. And then any this group is always the exact same as that group. So it's going to be that D is the same measure and that A is the same measure. And one important thing that I forgot to mention, um, you would know that they're parallel lines because of these, this symbol right here. On those two lines, it shows you that's parallel. So anytime you see those parallel lines with our transversal, which is that line that crosses, you're going to know that um, all of these angles are going to be um, the same. So then we want to look and we know then that these angles are all the same. So we're going to have two different angle measures that we're going to be talking about here. And we know that together all of the blue and yellow angles, so any group of blue and yellow has to equal 180 degrees because we have these really nice straight lines here. So we have here, here, they're all straight lines so they they together are supplementary angles, meaning they add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so um, we can go ahead and mark in that angle A, angle D, and angle F, um, they're all 85 degrees because we know that they're the same as that um, angle in the bottom right hand corner that we already know. So I'm just going to put those in there right now. And then we have our other, our um, yellow angles, so we want to actually find the measure of that. So 
we know that they add up to 180 together, so if we take away 85 from 180, we're going to find that missing angle measure. So we have 5, we need to borrow again, 17 minus 8 is 9, so it's 95 degrees. So any of those yellow angles then are going to be 95 degrees. So angle B is 95 degrees. And notice I'm putting in those degree symbols. Angle C is 95 degrees. Angle E is 95 degrees. And angle G is 95 degrees. So if you just remember, um, it might help if you put some sort of a symbol around all the angles that you know have the same degree. Uh, that might help you in these situations.